Hi, gorgeous ghouls. I am back with another, yes, you heard that, another Archer and Olive haul. This one is from, actually, I ordered this, I think it shipped, what does it say? Date printed for the shipping receipt invoice thingy is February 26th. So this was when I believe their spring stuff came out, their new line for that time. Plus, I also purchased a January box. But, I know, I know, another Archer and Olive. But it's really cute stuff, so if you want to see what I got, stick around. All right, I am trying to see if my thing is even recording at this point. I don't know why it seems like it's not. It has to be. Give me a second here. Oh, well, I'm sure it is. All right. I'm waiting for my HDN video to upload. So while that's going on, I thought I'd film this really quick. <laughs> quick. <laughs> <laughs> Me and quick, we know how that goes. Anyway, I also wanted to start using this, and this is why I purchased some of the stickers I showed a while back in a like collective haul of planner stuff. So I do have the January box there, but I wanted to show what I purchased individually from the, like I said, I think this is from when they released their new spring 2022 stuff. So, there were quite a few different things in the line. There were like, I don't know, six, seven, eight from it. First, no, let's do, let's do this first. All right, this is the pouch that I ordered. This, I picked everything in the mushroom theme because you know me and mushrooms. Also, these all match really well with my Moterm cover, so I can use this stuff together like that. But I did purchase the personal size of the dot grid notebook, so yeah. That I'm going to try to use some of the Hobonichi stickers I've had forever because I used to use one quite a few, quite a few, a couple years ago, three years maybe. And I never really got into it. It wasn't my thing at the time. I couldn't adjust to the size. So I have a bunch of Hobonichi stickers, kits. So I thought maybe I could use that with it. And once again, I am rambling. Let's see here. You have a little front pocket. Nice. And then of course, this, this is a nice heavy canvas. It feels good, sturdy. Oh, I like it's kind of gold there. Can you see? Yeah, it's gold. And it has the amber sand, as the Archer and Olive items have. I do like, even though this is gold here, this is still white, so I'm, I'm okay with that. And plus, it matches the gold on here, so. And this comes off, and then you put it over your notebook. You know what I'm saying. Y'all are smart. You know what I'm talking about. So that was the pencil pouch. Oh, that's good. Listen to me. That's good for making a tag or something for my journal. So here I am doing that. Anyway, so there's that. And this is, let me see if that has a specific name or anything other than, okay, yes, the one, the line that I bought from there was the Mother Earth Mushrooms. I know there was like a Moon Maiden one. There was, I don't remember. I need to be quiet because I do not remember all of them. And then, uh, these I think came out also, this whole new, the colors, blossom collection. These are acrylographs, and I don't know if you do planner stuff, or if you know about Archer and Olive, you know. And these are the 0.7 millimeter tip, comes with extra tips, and these you have to... You see, they're like that, like the paint pins, and you got pushed down, and you start getting the color. And look at that. See, it'll write on the black, so I can use it in my black dot grid journal also. But I love these colors, these colors right here match so well with the line. Let me see here. See, we have this one, this, this. The pink is in there. 
this one still works that that these are more you know not really necessarily matchy matchy but they still come in handy for other things so there's that was it one two three four five six, ten of them and these are not usually cheap so I don't remember does it say how much I paid for it I don't believe it does no it's just the Acrylograph Pens Blossom Collection. I did get, I want to say this one was free, that you got a free pen when you ordered a certain amount, but I'm not positive. I don't have my order pulled up because I'm busy with the uploading and doing of stuff on the other, on my devices. And then I'm filming on my phone, so. Yeah, so this is the, did I get .7? Yes. Now I do have some that are, where did I put them? I don't even know where they, uh, let me show you. They are the three millimeter. See, they're thick, much fatter. So I have some of those too, but I like these because you can write with them better, finer tip, whatever. So there you go. So I picked up that one. I watched, let me look over here. No, these are cool fall colors, so that wouldn't be the same color. No, it's not. Yeah, see, I put this stuff in a box to film stuff, and I never got to it, so that's why I'm kind of scatterbrained right now with this. So there's those two items that I purchased. I'm going to put them over here by the box for a second. Now let's open this baby up. See, like I said, all of the Archer and all the stuff comes in these really pretty boxes. They're just really beautiful. It has 144 pages, 160 GSM. Thick pages, yes, those are very, it's very thick paper. Nothing bleeds through. Okay. I thought I'd open this at least. I guess I didn't. I guess I was just waiting to do a video. I need to get my butt in gear and get things done. There's that. It always is wrapped like this. And then, oh, look at that. I think it looks a little more of a green. This is more of a chartreuse color, I want to say. Let's see here. Let me grab out that old Hobonichi I have here. That's not this. Let me put this up next to it. Close. No cigar, but close. Oh, I need to take this, this off. Yes, so I had this and I did some things, but it just really, it was too small. I like decorating certain ways and it just, you know, wasn't working for me when I did it. So I have yeah, quite a bit and this was 2020, not 2019, but so it's close to the same size. And then I have some that are undated. Yeah, slightly. All right. So it's a little bit bigger. Let's see here. This is the same type cover as the blue one that came. Oh, I haven't even posted that video yet, so y'all wouldn't know. Most of the ones I get have the cloth. And this one's more of the faux leather feel. Yes, and it is coming up on the camera. Much more of a green color. And it's more of a, let's see if that pick, that color. See, this is picking up a lot darker. It's more like this. So, yeah. No, is there gilding? No, if there is, it's like a, I don't know, a white over it. Like a shiny. And here we go. Yeah, see how these are super thick pages. And as they have, they're notebooks have these bookmarks a plain one and then one with the amber sand and they match the cover always so pretty the elastic and then a pen loop and this is just a nice size I don't know how well I'm gonna I think this is gonna become more of an actual um, journal or mood tracker maybe to help keep track of my mental health issues my bipolar and whatever anxiety I have and things like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. So, 
I think, I think, I think, I think a lot, but I don't know if that's going to work. We'll see. Now, it also had some, why did I say had some? What's that? What in the world? Now, come on. I don't want to tear it. There go. I per gosh, that's a big roll. I didn't realize the roll was that big. Then you have these. What are these called? Bujo stickers? I guess because it gives you little sections you can write on. This feels very slick, so I don't know if you have to use a permanent marker on this or not. I have never purchased these before. I want to say there's some in this January box I'm going to show you that I bought at the time. Wow. Okay. Don't want that coming off, do we? Wow. I'm having problems here. Ow. Yep. You saw me do that. That's me. That's me clumsy. So anyway, these are each individual stickers. Each one of these sections is a sticker. Yeah, now I did that. Maybe it'll come off a little bit better. But they all have the mushroom theme. It goes with the... What was it called again? Mushroom. What was it? Mother mushroom? Mother earth mushrooms. Okay, I'll worry about that later. And then we have like this here. You do the um, month in it, notes, and then they're just repeats. So, I've never ordered one of these, and I just love all the mushroom stuff. Now, I don't know that I'm really going to use it, but I might in that notebook. So, time will tell on that one. Okay. Let's move on to the washi. You know, I love my washi tape. I have problems. Whoa, I totally destroyed that box when I opened it. All right. There we go. Oh, I love them. They're so pretty. I love this one with the mushrooms on it. so pretty. Now I've noticed a lot of these. You can see where the line is, where it starts over. Yeah, right there again. I wonder why it shows so well now. I don't remember it being like that in the past. Maybe it's always been like that. Maybe it has something to do with being their own artwork, but I don't like that little line there that does that. It kind of breaks up the pattern in my opinion. Oh, I thought that was like, look, it's kind of bluish. Oh, I thought that was white, but it is slightly blue. Let's see if it shows on here. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't really see it. It's a very pale. If you look at the side, you can see it's a little different than white. Let me see if it'll show there better. See? Oh, and then we have this pretty green. I don't know where the beginning is. Where is it? Pretty, pretty. These are easy um, little flower or plant designs that are easy to draw quickly in your journal. And I like this with the grid. I love this. So my two favorites, I believe, are the mushroom one and that grid right there. Okay. Now, the last two things in this little thing I bought. I don't think they came in bundles. I think you had to buy everything individual if I remember correctly. I got both of the sticker sheets that came with it that you could purchase with it. And if I am not mistaken, they're two of the exact same thing. Yeah. So pretty. Hope I'm staying. I moved my phone, like I said, and trying to get this right. So if I'm off out of frame sometimes, I do apologize. Yeah, these are really pretty. And then this one is the more deco type ones. Love it. I love that one too. Oh, with the moon. Yeah, they're the same. 
And that's the end of the stuff I purchased for the Mother Earth Mushrooms one. So, in the spring collection. This is the January floral box, I do believe. And see, I did not... Here's how it looks. This is the front edge. And you can see I didn't even open this. I started to and I said, nope, I want to do this on camera. So we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. Set this here so I can put stuff back in it as I go through it. Archer and, Oliver. Archer and Olive Ambersand. I just didn't want to mess that up, but I did anyway. All right. This one, I don't remember what the theme was. I know it's like, see the colors, winter blues and stuff. Oh, so pretty. And that's probably the main reason I ordered this was for this. But I did like, I do like. Why am I tearing everything up that I try to open? The stencil that comes with it, it is very, very sharp. Oh, yes, it is. It'd be, it's very good for cutting washi tape. On the edge, wow, fingerprints. So yeah, it has like the flag with a banner and then this here would be good for like a circle or put the number in, in your box. And the date, day, number of the day. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? Do I make sense? Probably not. And this is probably making a lot of noise. So I'm just gonna set that to the side and come back to it. This was in there. Are these the, oh, what do you call them? Die cuts? Yes. That one, mm, that one, I don't know which way, and then this one. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That's really pretty. I have those, and these are stickers, I do believe. Yes, there's two of them here. Now, this is for January, and we all know January has passed, but I can use it for next year. And there we go. Um, what do you call them? Date dots, two sets. January third. Does January have thirty-one days? I think it has thirty-one days. So I don't like that. Why'd they stop at thirty? Okay, now I'm a little annoyed. Cause there's thirty-one days in January. Huh. Days of the week. Yeah, no, that's really got me. Now, I can't tell. Is that silver or is it a blue? I think it's a silver foil. No, can you see? Yeah, you can see it there. It's got a foil on it. Yeah, but there's 31 days in January, so that's rather annoying. That means if you put your monthly together, you're missing a day. Hmm. That is not cool at all. That's kind of annoying because you either have to write it in or find a sticker that matches it or, I mean, I guess you could just put a dot of color with a Tombow or something and then write over it, but it won't be foiled. Ugh, that's annoying. And this is the, they usually, from what I know, what, I, what I've known, from what I can tell is this is the floral one. They also have one that isn't floral. It's a different type of artwork on it. Same colors. It's the same theme color-wise. And these are really pretty. Now I'm so bothered by the fact that it only has 31 days on that that I'm just like, really? So setting up the month of January is totally screwed now. Wow. Maybe I'm in an alternate reality. Maybe there only is 30 days in January. Could have sworn it was 31 and then February and then March has 31. Yep, I'm right. All right, let's go on with these. And this one has the, what is it? They called it the Bujo Bullet Journal sticker set. Is that what these are? Let me make sure. No, sticker calendar roll. That's what they're called. Yeah, because it has the calendar on it. I was wrong. The Bujo stickers were the uh, in the sticker set that I showed in the packages. These are 
the monthly. Let me see here. Can I get this one up without destroying everything? Or can I try to stab myself again trying to open it? Let's try to stab myself again because I want to see something. See, this one doesn't have the monthly, but I guess since you have this monthly, it's okay. And the stickers up here, but you still don't have enough days. Hello? God, these rolls are huge. That's what she said. I said that for the benefit of one of my friends, fellow YouTubers that laughs every time I say it. You know who you are. Okay, where's my tweezers again. Did I lose them? I put them up here. Cannot get this open. And finally, the washi from this January box. <gasps> now this, like I said, is the main reason I think I ordered this kit was for this. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at this. There's foiling. I don't know. Can you see it? Yeah. There you go. You can see it some. These are beautiful. Oh, wow. Let's see here. Beautiful. Let me see. So foiling, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, it's beautiful. This one, ah, polka dots. So simple, but so pretty when you have that little touch of foiling and the dots are different sizes and they're just like, kind of monotone in a way, but there is a difference in the color. I don't know, like, what is it called? Um, watercolor, thin, see-through. Pretty. It's also, there you go, foiled. Foiled, I tell you. I could have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. If you watch this far, tell me what that's from. So pretty, delicate. Let go, yeah. Very, very pale pink, I love that. And this one does not have foiling, it has the other colors. This one might match that Coco Daisy one. That kit, that might match it. So yeah, and that's it in this haul. And uh, like I said, I purchased this at the end of February, and it has been sitting there, and I kind of lost it, I think, is why it didn't get done before, because I had the box at my computer, my new computer came in, and yeah, so I kind of got distracted, I guess, but this is the main reason I had done the order to begin with, was for this baby right here. So pretty. If you, these are notebooks we use them to make journals, uh, uh, journals or um, planners. Just section it out, make your days, make your month, whatever. And um, I do recommend these just for notebooks. They are pricey, but if you want to do any kind of art journaling in these, yes, there's a dot grid, but it's very light, and it doesn't go through. the The paper is such a heavy weight that you don't have to worry about it going through shadowing or anything because it's just very good quality so and even if it bulks up you still have quite a bit of room here for it to stretch so i think these are really good if you want to do some art journaling or collage journaling or something which might end up being what i do in the long run but i did purchase this for a reason to use up my other stickers so we shall see if I do that. And I'm going to let y'all go. It looks like my video has 54 seconds left. Now, if you know how it goes sometimes, that 54 seconds could become five minutes. It's like watching a football game. I love football. I don't love waiting for this to load up. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, it's a filler video. I'm a planner nerd. I'm a journal nerd. I do all these things, and I just wanted to share it with you. And these also are easy for me to do, throw together, so that I can fill in for times when I don't have the fashion one up. So, thank you for watching this far. And did I say? Yes. If you watched as far as till I said the 
saying, it would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for your meddling kids. Tell me what that's from. So that way I know you got this far. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Do all the things. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. All the things. All the things. And I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. And don't let anyone take away your shine. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.